Hello there, lovely soul. This is Infinity. Thank you so much for joining me. We are getting into our February 14th, 2020 uh, Oracle messages and guided meditation and little energy update here. Tomorrow for the 14th, Valentine's Day. Definitely having the uh, feeling of relationships and love in the air. People asking those questions, um, kind of what's all going on with that. So leading up into, and we just finished the new moon on the 11th, getting up into the 222 portal. Uh, And if you haven't seen... On my YouTube, I've been posting uh, videos for the 222 portal readings for each of the signs individually. So, so far, I have like four posted, but I just finished two more I have to post. I'll be done with them, I think, tomorrow. So, you can check those out. Uh, But anyway, the moon is in Pisces until 10.53 a.m. And then we go into a void period between, um, I'm sorry, The moon is in Pisces, yeah, until 10.53 a.m., after which the moon is in Aries. So the void moon is between 2.28 a.m. and 10.53 a.m. Eastern, and we are waxing. We're getting, our moon is getting bigger. The new moon was on the 11th. If you have not done the, the new moon meditation, please do that, and then please do the one for today, the 13th. Um which was uh, the abundance matrix uh, and healing the money wound. Uh, But of course you could do them in whatever order. It's just probably would work better to do that new moon one first. Uh, Okay, so here we go. We're going to get, we're going to get into our Oracle. We're going to get a couple of cards here. First, the, um, the angels of abundance, since that has been a big theme. Abundance and cutting cords. Big, big themes. Um, in almost every single one of these readings that I've been doing. Very, very strongly. Um, and healing the money wound. Okay. First card out from Angels of Abundance. Block out distractions. Your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. You already know that these distract what these distractions are, and you have the power to responsibly block them out. So if they're people, if it's you just, you know, once you turn on the TV, it's hard to turn it off or you start playing video games or you, you know, get on any type of social media, just stop, (laughs) make it a priority to do the work that you need to actually do. Um, your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So at this time, um, like I just said, cord cutting and, and healing the money wound, healing abundance blocks is such a big deal to get as much of that stuff done by the 22nd portal so you can have like a free and clear road for these energies to come in and your body is so much more stronger with its life force and... uh Um, I guess primed. Primed is like the word that always comes up. You're just primed for leveling up and integrations and activations and downloads and all that good stuff. The more you level up by healing yourself. So any kind of energy work you can get done, whether you go to somebody else, you work with somebody else like yours truly in what I do, that would be fantastic. Um, but And it doesn't have to be before, you know, it could be at any time, but your own cord cutting, your own clearing of abundance blocks is, you know, definitely something you can control. So take out the distractions and get to, um, get to it. (laughs) 
The next card, exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. The key to manifesting quickly is to have a very high, very high energy levels. And the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll, that you'll look forward to exercising and it becomes its own reward. So, um, if you haven't done yoga, if you haven't tried that, that's a great exercise to do. You can do it at home on your own without going anywhere. Uh, There's several places where you can have instruction. uh, But the one that I always tell people about that I really, that really was life changing for me was Sean Korn's uh, Twist and Flow yoga it's on actually youtube it's on gaia she has two different versions the beginner and intermediate one on there and the beginner one is just it's perfect to do every day um kind of get yourself started with that and and it'll the the twisting and the bending really is like literally squeezes out toxins and negative energy from your body so so that's just a a suggestion but try to just go on daily walks or nightly walks if you're feeling it more at night um I think I'm gonna start doing nightly walks honestly just get out at night and be under the stars and the moon no matter what her phase is always less windy at night so um even if it might be a little bit colder it always feels like it's less windy usually I live in the mountains so that could be a mountain thing um but anything that you can do on a regular basis um, besides of course regular meditation okay next up raise or promotion Congratulations, an increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. Yay! So again, just let's clear some blocks so this flow can come. If you did clear blocks, if you did do that um, that meditation, hooray and hurrah for you. This is definitely, it's like, congratulations, you really did you were in there, you shattered those, those illusions, those blocks, either from other people or from yourself, you gave yourself love, you accepted all of that abundance into your world, into your body, it was so beautiful, and it's like, congratulations, this is coming to you, also, this is like, think about, if you do work for yourself, most likely you deserve to be paid more than you're getting paid. You most likely you've set your prices lower than, than they need to be. Or maybe it's time to, and you know, take another look at that. Um, and then next is abundance mindset. If you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think, and speak of abundance as something you would already have in the present moment. And that is what you will experience. So that's why the attitude of gratitude is so important. Like, I'm so grateful for what I have. Sure, there's other stuff that I that I need or want and, and I don't have the means for it right now. But I will. But I'm so grateful for what I have now. And just look at what you have, no matter what it is, um, and how it came to you and think about all of the energy attached to, to the blessings that you have in your life, the people, the love, the nature, your life, your heartbeat, the air in your lungs, be appreciative of your, your life, your body. It's such a gift. You know, I saw this meme the other day. Oh, look at that. 655. I saw this meme the other day and it was this, this girl and I get where she was coming from. She was talking about like, don't call your psychic abilities a gift because that implies that it's not yours, that it's a gift and you can't ever really own it. It, that you should see it as an ability. Like any other person has an ability if you're psychic or if you're a healer or whatever. And I, I get it, but at the same time, everything is a gift. So there's nothing wrong with thinking of your psychic 
powers or abilities as a gift. Eyesight is a gift. I thank God every day for my eyesight. It's not the best. And if you read some of my stuff I put out, I'll miss stuff because I don't see very well. <laughs> but I meant to not wear my glasses because I just, I'm seeing beyond this realm and it's just a thing. I'm not going to get into it right now. But anyway, I thank God every day for my eyesight, for my health, for me transcending illness into being a healer. I went from super sick to being a super healer. And that's, that is a gift. That is, those are blessings. And what I can do and help people, I find, I do feel very blessed that they are gifts and, and it's okay to feel, you know, your gifts and, and be grateful for who and what you are and your own, just start at your body. I'm grateful that I have hands and legs that work. I'm grateful that I can sit up on my own power. I'm grateful I can breathe on my own and see and hear and, you know, <laughs> digest food and all of these amazing things. Just start with your own body and be grateful for whatever condition it is. It's alive. Your heart is beating. Your brain is firing. Air is going through your veins and through your blood and everything. So there you go. Last but not least here with, with uh, abundance, Oracle, release jealousy. Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something. And the universe manifests exactly what you affirm. Let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. It also falls under the category of cooperation instead of competition so you and anybody else are you're not in competition with anybody and there's no need to be jealous of anybody's anything because there's plenty to go around and there's plenty for you and and the more that you focus on other people and what they have the and being jealous of that, the less energy you're focused on yourself and your abundance and manifesting and raising your vibration. Cause jealousy is like literally two rungs up from fear and fear is the lowest vibration seriously, because jealousy comes and stems from fear. So they're literally like twins. Um, if you're jealous, you don't, you're in lack, you, you're afraid you don't have something, you're going to lose something. So any Anything associated with fear is really low vibrational. Okay, there's all that. One, two, three, four, five oracle cards from the Angels of Abundance in less than 13 minutes. <laughs> now we're going to get into Hidden Worlds Oracle. And here we go. Resurrection. Oh, yeah. I am feeling this big time. Card number 32. Resurrection. Comeback. Rebirth. Renewal. It's been all about that. And and recreating your abundance energy um, with the abundance matrix, with Gaia. Healing the money wound. Cutting cords. Bringing energy back into you. It is about a new you, a resurrection. And then everything that comes after that is just gravy because you're going to already be in that mindset. Okay, pages number 98 and 99 of the Hidden Worlds Oracle Guidebook Resurre Resurrection, Comeback, Rebirth, and Renewal. You are about to make a comeback after a difficult time. Hallelujah. <laughs> While you were struggling, friend, there were those in the hidden worlds who watched over you, even when it seemed that you, you might, what, wait, why? <laughs> even when it seemed that you must face all, oh, there's a word messing, must face it all alone. Throughout the times when you felt most abandoned, the watchers took the strands of your fate within their hands and began to weave together the broken threads and unraveled strands of your destiny. There may have been subtle moments when you noticed this work taking place, times when hope aligned upon you, and you felt glad again to be here. 
finally, now. You have the strength to make the return to the life you have longed for. All has been prepared for you. And you have work to do in this lifetime, dear one. Good work, sacred work, loving work. It is time to begin again and feel the shimmering possibilities all about you. For there will be moments of serendipity and synchronicity where you will follow the intuitive prompts you receive from within and from those who have watched over you. The divine has watched over you and helped recreate you until now you are reborn within this same life, seeming to be the same person, but so very much more than you felt that you were before. The soul contracts have been recreated. You have been freed and there will now come a realization that the wholeness and the beauty you have so long searched for have been inside you all along. You need not die to be reborn in this lifetime. Oh, again, hallelujah. (laughs) I really thought I was going to need to come back in another lifetime to not be a sick person, but I resurrected in this one. It can happen. If it can happen to me, it can happen to anybody. You need not die to be reborn in this lifetime, but we must let go of things that kill the spirit, the spirit. Sorry, but we must let the things that kill the spirit fall away and give them no more energy. Again, cutting cords. No more energy means cutting cords. This now is your purpose to perceive the beauty you have. Or sorry. Per, pers, perceive yeah perceive sorry <laughs> this now is your purpose to perceive the beauty you have discovered to keep the joy of the spirit alive and illumination i am being reborn my old self is no more i am changing into the me i am meant to be Oh man, this Oracle deck always gets me so emotional because it's so on point. (laughs) It's so like straight to it, you know? So the theme all month, all month has been rebirth, renewal, rejuvenation, uh, resurrection, and literally this card, card number 32, resurrection, um, I'm just being told that's the the mirrored 23. So I'm almost seeing it like the 23 is the beginning. The 32 is the... Not the end, but the conclusion. I don't know. It's just an interesting thing. The number 23 is tends to be a an activation. It also uh, adds to five, which symbolizes change and um, also connecting with your, your own soul, your higher self, all that good stuff. So this is beautiful. I hope that, that these messages, I love it how it starts off here. You are about to make a comeback after a difficult time. Well, there we go. I'll just, just right there. I'll take that. (laughs) And we've all been through a difficult time. You know, anybody who's gone through or is going through an awakening process, um, your spiritual awakening coming, you know, healing and all that, uh, everything gets like tossed up in the air everything changes everything is different uh you're different the world is different and it makes things it does make things difficult we're also as light workers um more susceptible to negative energy psychic attack things to get in our way that is definitely a thing um so anyway It is time for you to begin again, to feel the shimmering possibilities all about you. So without further ado, let's get into our meditation. I literally have no idea what we're going to do, so, but I never really do. (laughs) It's just a roundabout. But in this 
in this case, um, I really don't know, but I'm already feeling warm. Take off my sweater. Um, so if you don't already have candles lit, if it's too bright where you are, um, pause this and get your space ready. And then let's come back to a seated position, eyes closed and spine nice and straight. Um, however, you're sitting in a chair on the floor on a balance ball, balance ball chair. If you have one of those, they're amazing. So good for you. If you have trouble with your hips, your back, your back issues, back pain, posture, any of that stuff, get a balance ball chair, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Deep breaths. I need music. Where's my music? Oh, I am going. Sorry. Let's find my music here. Okie dokie. Music is on. So again, just nice and straight in your posture. Shoulders, shoulders down and back. Nice and straight in your seat, in your pelvis, not tilted too far forward or backward. And let's take a couple of stabilizing breaths here through your nose. Whenever you breathe through your nose, that tells your body you're calm or to be calm when you're breathing through your mouth. It is the opposite. <laughs> so... It's always good to get nice and calm, ready for meditation with the breaths in and out of your nose. Unless you can't breathe through your nose, of course. Okay. I want to thank you for being here, being guided to this. Uh, guidance today and meditation. I want to thank my guides and guardians for guiding me to do this. I want to welcome in everybody. So think about your angelics, your guardian angel, miracle angel, and healing angel coming in nice and tight around you. And already I'm feeling them like coming in nice and tight, like a pile on, on top. And so just allow, just say you welcome in your guides and guardians, your guardian angels to come in to really let you feel their energy. So you could, st could start feeling a density in the air around you, just warmth or pressure on the top of your head, your shoulders. Um, maybe even smell sweet or roses. Angelics tend to, to do that sometimes inside or outside. They are magical. They can do whatever they want. <laughs> uh, but mostly you'll feel just a warmth of presence, love, um, comfort, supported. Your ears might start popping or ringing or going in and out a little bit you might start seeing flashes of light before your eyes especially if it's really dark or if you have an eye mask on um, it's a little easier to see that possibly but I'm seeing them coming in really really close and tight around us and they're just creating this beautiful like dome of their energy around us so it, it extends about uh I'd say three or four feet max above us and just take that angle and go all the way down um probably closer to three feet above our head I think four feet's too much but I just feel this like big bubble of energy from our angelics here so just let that take form and just feel yourself in that it's similar to what we did for the new moon but that was like 
that was different actually but it's it's with them and their energy so that's the similar part so um if you remember that new moon and how that all got started but um it's just a, a beautiful dome it reminds me of a snow globe so it's like it, so i'm getting this energy it's like it's like think of yourself in a beautiful in a beautiful magical like snow globe scene and and it's just you so just imagine this beautiful snow globe and maybe instead of snow in the snow globe that fake snow it's light and it's reflecting off of you onto the the sphere that they're saying see it as um like being in a, a crystal in a um like a crystal ball uh, I showed mine on one of the videos because I was getting that that feeling and thinking about water. So I'm feeling so it's kind of the same thing, being in a uh, like a snow globe or a crystal that kind of thing. But you can sit inside of it, you can feel all this energy from your angelics, that beautiful um, highest vibrational energy that comes from angelics, angels, archangels, and the like. Um, even dragons are are of angelic descent and they are angels in their own right um, so if you start picking up on dragon energy dragons water the water fire earth air dragons um, how they move and cross through realms and dimensions and all that good stuff so they're coming in so just welcome in your guides, your guardians, your angelics, your ancestors, your spirit animals, any animal spirits that you may have known in your, so there's spirit animals and animal spirits, two different things. <laughs> and um, so either way, welcoming in those animal energies, either the ones that you've um, personally have known who have been incarnate with you your own little helpers guides healers and also just the the energy of spirit animals and you have more than one or two or however many every animal um is is a spirit animal and can come and give you wisdom and direction knowledge and all that good stuff because they're all of gaia so gaia will present and manifest herself to give you messages through the animals a lot of times especially spirit animals okay so now we're just going to take a few moments to get into our bodies i want you to start at the top of your head and just imagine like at the top of the dome of that you're in or the the sphere the globe the crystal <sighs> that there is a light shining down from the top and it's just shining directly on the top of your head and it's golden and copper and rainbow and certainly alive and magical and just breathe in as it hits the top of your head and it starts to permeate through your skin your scalp your hair your bones your your skull but it also just so it's going through you this energy so we're going to activate with our crown chakra because it's going right through our crown chakra so think about that beautiful violet and amethyst. I work with Merlin and he's been doing this beautiful amethyst um, integration with our uh, violet crown chakra, um, just like embedded around our halo. So if you feel that or see that um, or feel that energy, 
just let it come through and then the top of our heads and soaking in and getting in with our third eye and just really see and feel like it is a it is an eye and it has an eyelid and you need to open it up so just have the intention of opening up your third eye you might feel pressure in your two eyes or between your eyes or get a little itchy or tight the back of the head those are signs that your third eye is active and awake and open and really opening up even more because once you're if you've been working with your third eye it's open it's opened but it can continue to open and can you know kind of get passive so we have to tap in there especially if you're not somebody who's always working in one realm or the other of astral um so just let it soak through and just see this light really hitting um going through that that violet chakra through your crown chakra in and through the top of your head with that crown with sorry with the indigo third eye chakra and let it just permeate and let those violet those violet colors that that integrated with that rainbow beautiful golden coppery light now start to um, blend in with the indigo and just it's moving slow this energy is not like in the new moon meditation with the diamond light just like a laser through us this is much slower it's like the way lava moves and it has that kind of like heavy kind of imagine lava to be kind of heavy and and of course obviously hot <clears throat> excuse me and so just but you're feeling it like on the topic going through so th imagine just that light going through your entire head just really blending with that third eye and going down past the jaw the throat into the throat with the throat chakra that beautiful blue color and just continuing to go down into the chest with your heart chakra blending with that blue of your throat to the green of your heart and we just want to feel this they're just showing me just like this energy just coming straight down and as it hits your body to see it reflecting off of the globe and coming back at you so from every angle you have so much light coming in so much light coming in from every angle because it's coming in from the top hitting you going through going on the top of you bouncing off reflecting off of the the globe the crystalline globe that you're in and <clears throat> excuse me and just going all the way through you so as this is happening just imagine see yourself from an outside perspective and see yourself in this globe and see your body just starting to light up from the top down and all of your chakras starting to come online as this energy is just slowly going down so just really feel it permeating your shoulders permeating your back going down taking over everything going down the body into the solar plexus so going down into the abdomen and just see yourself lighting up so you're kind of half and half half regular and half totally lit up feel the energy going down your arms through all of your veins muscle tissue bones everything to see yourself as just this beautiful body of light easy breaths and say I release and I receive I release and I receive I remember so I may rise I release I receive I remember I rise and just keep saying that I release I receive I remember I rise and just let the energy continue to go down through the abdomen lighting everything up through your butt your pelvis 
as we integrate with the sacral and the root coming online with that orange and the red and really expanding outwards as your energy through your body, through your legs, down your legs, through your calves and your ankles and your feet, just open everything up and receive this energy. I receive, I, re I release, I remember, I rise. And I want you to just think about this here for a minute. Just sit here and be all lit up. See, see yourself in this beautiful crystalline sphere and see yourself completely lit up. See yourself from the outside in and see yourself just completely lit up. Just golden, copper, violet, rainbow light, just all through your body, connecting, invigorating, aligning with your chakras, getting them all stacked up and aligned and opened up and just tune in here. I'm hearing just tune in here. If anything is tight or uncomfortable, if your throat is acting up, your head hurts or your chest is getting tight or that your, um, your upper back is tight and it hurts or your stomach or there's some pain coming from your abdomen or anything if there's anything anywhere just take note send your awareness your acknowledgement and your energy to that place i release i receive i remember i rise you don't want to lock down on that energy you want to let it go want it to move through the body so acknowledging that there's something there that's trying to move or trying to either make its way to your to a chakra to integrate back that's been moved out into you know your limbs possibly or in with an organ and it's causing pain or disruption it might start acting up now so if anything like that is happening or feeling pain and pressure in your head Think about that third eye and just very gently coaxing it open. I release, I receive, I remember, I rise. So anytime your body starts to lock down, because remember the natural kind of knee jerk reaction things that our body does is to protect us. But if you say, this is okay, I am releasing, I'm receiving, I am remembering, this is what I'm supposed to be doing, I rise. Then the body says, oh, I don't need to lock down on this. Okay, let it go. And just literally see it just effervescently leaving your body and just tell your body, I love you. You're beautiful. You're magical. Everything you do without me even thinking about it is, is magical, is beautiful. I send you my love, my beautiful body, all the way to my toes, my feet, my ankles, my calves, my chin. I send love. I love my body all the way up. I love my body. Just think about your body. Think about your, your joints, your spine, your organs. Again, how grateful, how beautiful it is. And, and if you are hard on yourself or your looks or your abilities in any way, physically, if there's ailments or conditions or ways you don't feel good, send your body love. We tend to be down on ourselves and call our bodies bad and hate how we feel and what's going on. And that doesn't help anything. That won't help anything. That's just, that's just abusive. That's abusive. You don't have a bad back. You have a back that has energy that needs to be transmuted. So it's telling you, ow, fix this. <laughs> it's not a bad back. It's not a bad knee. It's not a bad neck. It's not a bad shoulder. It's not bad anything. It's your body telling and, and expressing itself to you in the only way that it can. Getting your attention through pain and discomfort is how we know what we need to fix. So we love our bodies. I love you, my body. You hold my soul. You hold my energy. 
without you, I am not alive. I'm not even here. I'm so grateful for this body, for my mind, for my thinking capacity, for being able to reason, for being able to be guided, to be connected and all of that coming into alignment here. And as I feel into and work with and connect with my own self, my body, my guides and guardians, the divine and the beautiful energies that can come in so easily into my body to make me healthy, to make me clear out the energy so I may connect. I love my body. So this is just the energies coming through here, our angelics, our guardian angel, healing angel, miracle angel saying everybody just really needs to take a moment and think about their vehicle, think about their machine, think about their vessel, think about their beautiful human body and really start to fall in love with that beautiful human body because that is your everything. Everything is your human body. We, we can tend to take it for granted. So now is a time to just release negativity about your own body. If you've ever had any type of addictions, conditions, any type of self-harm or seen yourself uh, in ways that were imperfect or that you needed to hide or cover up or put a mask on in any way, shape or form, release that energy now. Forgive yourself for seeing your seeing your, your body in in a negative way. It's conditioning. It's the way most people are. It's okay. But you can retrain your brain. You can love your body no matter how old it is, what it's been through, what it looks like. You must love your body right now. Is and fill yourself up with the love for your body right now. you were once sick but you're not anymore think about how beautiful and amazing and miraculous it is to to heal no matter how that happened for you 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 and your body did that and just take a moment to think about that or if you're considering healing and going through any big intense healing or even minor, it doesn't matter. That shows love for yourself and your body and your energy and your soul purpose and, and all of that. The only way we can bring love and have divine union with other people is by really truly loving us. Really truly, not in a narcissistic way, not in an egoic way, but just loving our bodies and being grateful. So, <clears throat> so just take a moment, just think about really allowing your body to feel love that you, you have for yourself, fill yourself up with this love, let it fill up your heart chakra, let it come out and through your shoulders, your arms, up into your face, your head, your neck, let it just, if you have hair, as long as your hair is, just feel that energy through every single hair strand, all over your skin, all over inside your internal organs. Just think my fuel, my, my protein, my energy, my everything right now is just my love for my body and how beautiful and miraculous it is and just how much better it can get every single day filling up your life force. So lastly, I want you to see this as you being all lit up, see and feel what this is like and to push out as much negative energy as you can while feeling this in your body, really um, feeling the life force. If you feel vibrational right now, if you feel vibing in your body, if that really, if you kind of all, always vibrate, <laughs> And now you're really vibrating more. Feel it in your hand. Just feel the energy. If you're tight in your back, open up the channels of your wings on either side of your spine, right at your shoulder blades. Just unzip that. Just think about that. Just unzipping 
those areas and letting the energy come out of your back. That is what your heart chakra is meant to do. And just let it escape and, and roll or unfold or just crackle out with that energy. <sighs> nice breaths. I release, I receive, I remember, I rise. I love my body. I just feel that, feel that life force through your entire body, charging, recharging. You know, the healthier, the clearer, the more connected, the more uh, cleared out of negative energy that you are and your life force is maintained at a really high level, you actually start to regenerate the um the aging of your body because age equals decay so if your life force is super super high all the time you're you're literally not aging or you're aging so slowly that it's like you're aging in reverse things start to rejuvenate at such a level that you're biologically younger um than your chronological age. Sometimes by a lot that can actually happen. So just think about your life force energy and how filled up you are, just this energy coming down and through you, integrating with your with your uh, seven main chakras in your body. Now, of course, there's more chakras that are outside of your body, but we, we concentrate on these because they're in the body. So important to work on what's going on in the body. And and feeling that energy and just like let it, what I'm seeing here, just like what Gaia does, she sends out pulses of energy, like with her heartbeat. So think about every single time your heart beats, you're sending out your soul song, your soul energy, and just let it pulsate out. And so this is kind of a two-parter meditation, one for connecting, loving your body, because really, um, like it said in that oracle, a strong, healthy, high vibrational body is going to manifest so much easier than one that's not. So nature, exercise, meditation, um, food that is high vibrational is all very important. So you want to think about that and really now allow the energy to move down and in and through and let Gaia receive that energy as your pulses of energy are going out. Just connect with Gaia. And then what we're going to do now is have the intention now that we've given ourselves love and our body love so we can be more abundant, so we can vibrate as high as we possibly can. And guides are saying, please do this self-love ritual as often as you possibly can. And if you're ever feeling down, stressed, in pain, you don't feel good, energy's low, spending some time connecting with yourself, getting into your body, your life force, and really sending love to your body will make you feel amazing. Also calling in um, Archangel Raphael to come in with his healing energy and just to add that energy to the mix here. So he's actually coming in. He's like, I'm here. And he is sending through this beautiful emerald green, coppery, golden energy through the sphere, through our crystalline uh, sphere here. So see that coming through, healing energies, healing energies just coming all the way through. He says comforting, lifting negativity, taking burdens he says anything you're stressed about anything you're worried about anything that's up in the air anything that's sitting in your body with any kind of negative charge i release i release i release and let him take it let him transmute it give it away give it away to him 
So as you sending energies down, sending energies up, just letting it go, releasing, surrendering control to the need to know. And last but not least, like I said, while we, since we did this work and we cleared energy and we love ourselves, we can allow for the highest divine beings to be heard by us because they're at such a high frequency that if we're low, we're not going to hear them. It's really hard. And this is a problem a lot of people have. They, it's like staticky. They feel presence. They feel a little bit here and there, but it's difficult. So what we just did was to really clear out energies, even more um, releasing densities, just really filling up with light, telling our bodies that we love our bodies. It's a beautiful body, right? Beautiful, beautiful body, everything. If you're wrinkly, love your wrinkles. If you're gray, love your gray. No matter what it is, send love to every single nook and cranny cell of your body and allow for your divine counterparts, your guides and guardians, your angelics to be heard better. So what I want you to do is they're showing me they're going to like, there's going to be flashes in your sphere there. It's kind of like a knock at the door, like fat, like three fast flashes I'm seeing <coughs> excuse me this is a cue from the other side from your guides and guardians all of them allowing them to come in but most uh the one at the front of the line I guess you could say that's going that's what he's saying or they're saying is the front of the line is your immediate guardian angel. And this is a great time to decide to bring in and invite even closer into your sphere, very intentionally, your guardian angel. So if you're feeling that this is something you want to do, you want to connect more with your guardian angel, have start really cultivating a relationship if you haven't already, or if you already have, just this would make it even stronger. Make the communication, the connection, the relationship really, really strong to start hearing and feeling them more. So just allow for the sphere to open up and for the, them to come in and for them to essentially sit with you in the sphere, the sphere closes back up and now it's you and your guardian angel because that's really the way that it is. If you notice here, this is the way that it's been anyway. Your guardian angel's been there whether you've invited them in or not, but doing it intentionally really solidifies the connection between you. So you can see here the space that's always that's right next to you just gets filled up by your guardian angel and just to feel that energy feel that presence however they're projecting or showing you what they may look like or feel like you may just see an orb of color or a, a sphere or a or maybe a, an outline, or you may even see like it looks like a person. Usually it just, it's not that, it's not like that because guardian angels don't really look like people. They're, they, they're of course, um, uh, with their divine connections and their, their own, energy body of course it's all energy we're just energy so they don't have a solid figure form angels don't look like we what we see angels to actually look like they're um they are are very just energy there there's no 
face, there's no limbs, there's no any of that. We kind of project that on them to kind of have that kind of familiarity with what something is. But if you just feel and see and are getting really warm with energy, just feeling your guardian angel next to you, it's just it's energy. It's pure energy. It's pure love energy for your guardian angel has always been with you, will always be with you. You also have your, <clears throat> your miracle and your healing angels. They are always with you too, but they're, they're not like right, right there with you. They're a little bit further out your guardian angels are the one is the one that is always um just right there with you let's um you you know you and the rest of your spirit tribe really connect through that connection with your with your guardian angel they're the ones that like really help and the guardian and guiding you so just see them for how they're coming through to you, however that may be. And yeah, you can even, they're saying you can reach out and touch this energy, really feel it. Feel what that might feel, what that feels like. And the message is coming through is just to tell you that your guardian angels always want to connect with you, are always guiding you, always sending you love, positive vibes, positive affirmations, just open up to that. And the more you talk with them, either out loud or in your mind, the more you ask for help, even if it's, I'm hungry, I don't know what to eat, just wait and see what flashes in your mind. I do that all of the time. Um, what am I supposed to do right now? I feel so like I could do this, do this, do this, do this. What do I do? Guardian, your guardian angel will put flashes in your mind and help you to, to see, um, timelines and make your choices. They'll never, they'll never make choices for you. Of course, they'll just present choices and try to guide you to the highest vibrational paths as they can. Um, but your journey is, is your journey. They're with you always. They love you unconditionally, completely unconditionally. So please take that in. just sit with your guardian angel in your crystalline sphere. See yourself all lit up with this beautiful energy. Remember you love your body, feel the love that your guardian angel has for you always been with you since you were a tiny little baby since before you were born there isn't anything but love that your guardian angels feel for you and and also the archangels again Raphael saying please remember to call on me when you need help when you need healing I'll take away your pain you just need to call on me um so, and I work very closely with Raphael and my healings that I do. He always comes in. So here he is again. Thank you so much, Raphael. Uh, so please stay in your, in your crystalline sphere, reflecting this light, connecting with your guardian angel and, and just decide that, you know, through your wake state, through your sleep state, through your dream state, through your meditative states, that your guardian angel is with you. Feel that love, feel that warmth, feel that support. Cultivate a relationship with your guides and guardians, and especially your angels. They're the ones that are right, right there, meant to help you um, every step of the way. And of course it goes out from there. It's a big team, a big tribe that you have. I want to thank you for joining me here uh, with this meditation today. Very intense, very beautiful, perfect piggyback from uh, the abundance, uh, the abundance matrix and the healing the money wound yesterday. So this is just more deep, <clears throat> deep loving 
self love, feel the love, feel the, it's just so much love here. Seriously. <laughs> For Valentine, oh, they're saying for Valentine. I didn't even put it together. Oh my God, that is hilarious. He's going. It's when I say he, that's my guardian angel. He's going. It's Valentine's Day. He's like, S love yourself for Valentine's Day. It's great to feel love from any and from Gaia, from your family, from your loved ones. If you have a spouse, a lover, um. But truly, to really feel their love is to feel your own love. So for this Valentine's Day, <laughs> love yourself. I love my body. My body is beautiful. I love my soul, my spirit, my, my what drives me, my abilities, my gifts. I'm grateful for everything that I have. Just starting at the body, eyesight, if you have it, the ability to, to sit and walk and move and use everything that you have in your body. Again, I love you, my body. Write yourself a love letter today. The last bit of guidance here is to write yourself a love letter. Tell us, you're making me emotional. Whew. Write yourself a love letter. And I'm just seeing all of you guys do this. It's so beautiful. Going, I am going to write myself a love letter. Please do. Please sit down with a piece of paper and a pen and write yourself a love letter. How you love you. What's <laughs> what's beautiful and special about you? What what's what's so magical about you that maybe nobody knows? And let your guardian angel help you. Call them in to help you with this love letter. They're saying will help you because you're not used to <laughs> writing yourself a love letter. But it's the perfect time to do it on Valentine's Day. Sorry for being so weepy. I just feel so <laughs> much love right now. It's really overwhelming. And just seeing everybody just really buying and buying into this love for yourself and please do please love yourself be passionate about yourself the world would be this is abundance this is how abundance feels is love for yourself deserving love for yourself and everything comes past after that you are worthy you are loved you are supported you are beautiful you are magical all of that love yourself Write yourself a love letter, read it to yourself, and then they're saying you can keep it, you can, you can keep it and read it, or if you're so guided, you can burn it, and, and it can be part of the integration. Burn that love letter, breathe in the smoke, and, and that way you can really integrate what you're feeling for yourself right now and carry that energy. Um, we're still really, uh, the, on the 14th, we have an 11.1% .1 moon, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. It's 11.1% for our moon. Um, it's a lot of that starting point, beginning, creational, renewal, rebirth, resurrection energy with this 14 um, day, with this Valentine's Day, with love yourself, heal yourself, connect with your guides, write that love letter, take that in. Um, I really am feeling that the directions here is to burn it. And so take a picture if you want, but then burn it and, um, and really just accept and receive in that beautiful energy of your own love for you guided by your guardian angel. So really just feel just when you sit down, feel your guardian angel there, ask them to help you really connect with all the beautiful, wondrous things about you and to write that letter, burn it, breathe it in. Love yourself for Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much, guides and guardians, angelics, all of you guardian angels. I love you all so much. Those of you who are guided here to do this practice and spend it with me and to hear me weeping here at the end. Thank you so much. Please join me tomorrow. Please do the new moon and abundance uh, meditations of over the last couple days that I put out. If you have not already... 
and I will see you tomorrow. Dear, beautiful soul, happy Valentine's Day. Infinite love and blessings. Don't forget the key is to create. I love you already and always live in love forever and always infinity until next time. Bye for now.